The Ethicurian is a restaurant located within a walled garden just outside of Bristol in the Mendip Hills. We set the restaurant up very much wanting strong ethical principles, um, cooking seasonally, using produce as local to the restaurant as possible. Um, obviously we've got the luxury of, of a lot of the produce growing within the walled garden itself, but venturing beyond those walls as well and, and wanting to use a lot of forageable wild food. A large part of us wanting to be sustainable and ethical was very much cooking within the seasons. Uh, when you cook within the seasons, it's, it's best to have as large a larder as possible. So for us, it meant venturing out beyond the walls and learning a lot about wild food and wild edibles and what you could forage at different times of the year. Foraging allows us maximum opportunity to expand our larder. There are some absolutely incredible flavors out there that nothing cultivated can replicate. It's also a great excuse for us to be able to escape a busy kitchen. Uh, you can spend an hour or two here and there picking wild food and yes, yeah, it's, it's very relaxing and uh, wholly enjoyable. When it comes to foraging, there are traditional warnings that are often passed on. Uh, these warnings often come from worried parents who are eager to protect their little ones from some of the frankly lethal plants and fungi out there. The best approach to learning about foraging is to spend time with others who share the same passion for the outdoors. Those same people could show you an elder tree in winter, they could show you the elder tree in flower or fruit later in the year. So once you've learned to spot an ancient elder tree, there's an opportunity to hunt for a specific fungus that grows on its dead branches. It's known as the jelly or wood fungus. It's considered one of ten safer fungi to forage. It's got a distinct ear-like shape, quite an old jelly-like texture. And it's a texture that snaps against the teeth when you bite it. It's earthy, yet mild in flavour. It's an ideal mushroom to carry other flavours. In this case, we've used the elder flower itself, in addition to a sharp pickling vinegar to preserve the mushroom for later in the year. The texture and flavour make a great accompaniment for pan-fried duck breast with sea beet and smoked mushroom ketchup. Often on the same woodland floor, we find the trefoiled leaf wood sorrel. This leaf contains oxalic acid. It has a taste similar to rhubarb. It's a very welcome contrast to the earthy tones of salt-baked beetroot. We paired this beetroot with the cardamom labner, mace crumb and the fresh elderflowers themselves. Many forageables grow on the margin of where different environments meet. A very important one for us is the coastline. Plenty of heritage plants with distinct and strong flavours are found here. One of our favourites, and it's often found growing near Samphire, is a plant called sea arrow grass. The young shoots have got this really intense coriander flavour. In the kitchen we paired this with cured sea trout, wild vetch, cucumber, pickled fennel and a really zesty anise sherbet. Foraging for us starts in spring, but realistically all seasons have a lot to offer. Um, in spring we might pick the young shoots of a plant, in summer you might then pick the flowers of that same plant, and in autumn you might get the seeds from the same plant, all of which have got completely different flavour profiles. In winter we might occasionally pick the root of a plant, but more often than not we ferment a lot of produce come late autumn, which will see us through winter and through the hunger gap the following year. When we forage we are conscious to do so in a sustainable way. This means never picking too much from one patch, never uprooting the entirety of the plant, um, and making sure that we always leave enough for the following year. We might also pick the seeds and plant them elsewhere um, as, a, as a means of preservation. Nature offers us so much in terms of flavour and texture. The wild foods that we all have access to are specific to where each of us are. The great excitement for us comes from getting out in and amongst nature, exploring its limitless larder, and all of the tastes, the textures and the combinations that it has to offer. 